I'm Claire Kenyon, I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Melbourne and I also run an outreach program with telescopes in schools. I first had an interest in astronomy, basically through my interest in everything. Everything I could see, I wanted to know about. I know my mother actually took me out when I was very young to see Halley's Comet. I don't remember that, I was a bit too young, but she is sure that that's what set me on this path. Dad was always about looking at what we can see, uh, asking questions about what we can see first and then zooming in. To have a look at the hair first, have a look at the follicle before you put it under the microscope and then look at it in a completely different new way. My specialised field of study in my PhD, I look at uh, basically these special galaxies uh, called quasars. They're very, very, very uh, energy intensive and I look at the very centre of them. I do a bunch of simulations on supercomputers here and I look at those simulations, which is physics we know, and I look at the spectrum and I'm like, okay, well, I think this physics is happening over there in this place that I will never, ever, ever get to see with my own eyes. The advice I would give to young people, uh, particularly girls that are interested in studying this field or studying anything, is just ask questions. Be curious, be interested, be engaged. To answer one question, you've actually got to ask a couple of other easier ones first, so build on your knowledge and resist the temptation to just look for a yes or no answer. From using a telescope, you can learn a wide variety of things. Obviously, you're using your hands and you're operating machinery and you're interacting usually between software, maps, the instrument, you're looking in it and understanding how that works. But you've got to be able to orient yourself. You need to basically know which way is north, which way is south. You need to know what you're looking at so you want a good idea of, of what the sky already is. You don't want to be sort of pointed at Mars and actually be looking at some other planet. Also, uh, it gives you a good idea of geometry. Then there's all the stuff about philosophy, really. I mean, where are we in the universe? Situating yourself on a rock, looking out into this vast sky, and really, you ask yourself a whole bunch of questions about your place in the universe, really how significant or insignificant you are. So there's questions for humanity, just in looking upwards. It's an instrument in its own right, a practical instrument, but it's also theoretically, it's just, it's an instrument to being curious and to asking questions and to having a look. To know that the light that's actually hitting your eyeball came from the actual planet's rings. So it's traveled through space. It's come from the sun, it's hit the particles in the rings. It's traveled all the way back to earth through my telescope and into my eye. I think for me, you don't have to be a physicist to sort of go, that's a pretty long journey for that little bit of light. And it's sort of awe-inspiring, actually. The study of astronomy, uh, to me, is really important for everybody, from, from our youngest kids learning science to even just people doing their shopping. There's a whole bunch of technology that's actually used on Earth that's come from space exploration. I think giving young people that access to being curious about basically what is half their vision outside um, is a real key to them being able to ask questions later on.